aka Kano Ambrose, aka the Great Wall of Wanna Cove, and today we'll be getting into another undisputed showcase. And oh, oh, also, also, I need to know, I need to know some some raw women. I need one that's gonna not. I know Katie Taylor the best in this in this game, probably probably on the planet. But um, I need somebody else that you know can knock a skull off. But anyway, today. We will be doing a Patrick, forgive me if I'm butchering this, Patrick, Patrick Roku. I think that's how you say it, Roku Showcase. Patrick is the second worst ranked overall fighter in this game. And you remember how we dominated with George Davey? We're going to see what Patrick got for us. He looked like he a tall dude, so we're going to see. But I thought Ryan Rhodes was a tall guy too. So if he's a tall fella. We probably have an advantage, which it also says um, he's a boxer puncher, so more than likely he is. But, yeah, I'm going to try to do uh, lower-ranked overall fighters um, in their showcase. I'm going to probably do Anthony Carolla next. Um, I think that's how you say his last name. And then um, it was somebody else I wanted to try, too. But let's see what we're getting into, who we going up against. Oh, Roy. All right. We can handle that. Well, depends. Depends on how they play. Okay, Patrick does have height on us. I mean, that yeah, that's a that's a major plus. That's a major plus when dealing with Roy. Yeah, I see how he's having to reach up. Okay, and his hook's not that bad either. We don't want to be on the inside taking exchanges. Snuck that power straight in there. Another jab. A loop to work him from the outside. Well, that's actually hurting our head. We need to chill out. Jab. Mmm, nice. He didn't like that. Mm. Patrick's uppercuts are the highest punch that he has in a game, but, um, I mean, hi highest punch on his character. The uppercuts are kind of uh, wonky out here. Unless you're cheesing. But they can be good. You just gotta know how to use them. Which I'm gonna try to... Oh, yeah. I don't want to do that. Get my ass cleaned up. But we do want to sneak it in there. When opportunity presents itself. Hmm. Mm-hmm. We missing though. Can't be saying mm-hmm about nothing. Mm-hmm. 
he definitely trying to work the body now, so we gotta implement that jab more. Can't be wasting. Can't be wasting power shots right now. We're gonna do that on the back end. That one hit. Mmm. Take that to the corner with you. Kiss the glove. 97.99. I would love to see it. Love to see it. Tastes delicious. Sneaky uppercut. Mm-hmm. Hoo-wee. <laughs> Made him. <laughs> Made him. <laughs> That's what that damn bend over, bend over and shit was. That was a knock the wind out yourself. Look at that. Look at that gross shit. It's gonna be more delicious when I get this dub out. Look at him, he's standing. He doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna chase anymore. He doesn't wanna give chase. Whew. You can pretty much outbox anybody with, with anybody on here. I'm starting to notice. Um You gotta just know how to box not do stupid shit. Not throw reckless. I think he cut. I think he cut on that left side. Domination. Oh, that was a power one. That was a power one too. That, oh my goodness. It was gonna be so clean how he like walked off. He was gonna make mm, I was trying to sneak that bitch in there like oh that was gonna be so clean. That was gonna be so clean. With the footwork and shit, he wasn't gonna see it coming. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw something else at him and he ain't gonna see it coming. Oh never mind. He he seen that coming. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to gauge the range of the uppercuts right now. Like that's really what I've been trying to do. Oh, that was a power one. 
just gains in the rage of my fucking uppercut. It's not even really damn involved right now. I'm involved, but I ain't involved. You know what I know. You know what I mean if you be whooping ass. You know, you be somewhere else and shit when you when you know you got this in the damn bag. Come on, dog. Oh. Oh, I gotta be careful, boy. Trying to throw combos and shit. Like, mix the combos up with power in the middle of it. Or power at the end of it. Hmm. I will knock his head back. <laughs> I'm getting greedy. I'm getting greedy. I gotta go try that on somebody else. With somebody else. Cause like I'm getting popped in the lip and it's slowing my like punches down when I try to throw that power shot. Like it's showing it's slowing it down. And also I guess I don't have enough stamina to be doing that anyway. Let's go back to doing what we were doing. Go back to doing what we're doing. The fundamentals. Mm-hmm. Because if Roy can't get inside, he's nothing. Oh. How gross. Another scoring shot there. Damn, boy. He's keeping that one two in his face. I try to I'm trying to do the one two with the buttons, but that ain't as fluid as I thought it would be. He just let me do it too. There's a scoring blow. 
that. Mm-hmm. He slapped. He slapped. Walk into it. Mm. I put power behind that. Mm. Lean right into that. Dana hired me. Slap. Slap fight. I think that's what that shit called. Slap fight. Come on, they're making RJ look damn terrible. Shit, some of the other dudes I was thinking about not using, I might be able to go in there and do it. Right when it got that extended touch on it. You just be out, out of range, boy. Look at him giving up. Look at him giving the fuck up. Damn, man. Damn, man. Wanted to finish that one out. But there you have it. Patrick. Oh, cool. I hope I'm not butchering that. I'm gonna have to go look at your fight later, bro. I'm gonna, go, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually go do that right now. I gotta go look at a Patrick fight, see what he got, and learn how to say his name. But yeah, bro, dude is 28 and 28. He is a real life undisputed fucking jobber. I mean, undisputed journeyman. Can't get no momentum going. But yeah, the Lunatic Fringe, out.